How? How is this guy still on his feet? Okay, we are running out of rounds. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> For real? Is this guy the same guy? Like, who the hell is this guy? This cannot be Eidolon, right? Hello Stalkers, and welcome to episode 88 of the Lonata Legend Crafting Challenge. This is your boy Blondie speaking with a mixed accent, or done very poorly. How are you all? I hope you're all doing well. We're just chilling in this doorway, just in case another controller happens to be about. This episode, this 88th episode, is a special one because this is the Blondie birthday episode. That's right, if you're watching this on the day or around the day of its release, within, say, all 18 hours, it's Blondie's birthday. Happy birthday to me. Well, let's get into it. Straight into it, right into the streets, go get some. I think, for this episode, what I would like to do... Yes, you, friend. What I would like to do, because it is the birthday episode, we're just going to head in and stir up some ruckus. Let's kick the ant's nest and see what rolls out. They really aren't kidding with the campfires. There are campfires everywhere. Ooh, boy. So let's see how far we can get inside the base. Check out this place first, because it looks like a place worth checking out. It is daylight now. Cannot rely on the cover of night. Now we did check in that, didn't we? Yes, we did. You cannot rely on the cover of night. Okay, we're running low on old rounds. How about we just swap out then? Seems like a good idea. I think we can get away with moving a little bit faster. Okay, so it looks like we got a way in through these second story windows. There is the famous Ferris wheel. Or the infamous Ferris wheel. Here we are at the hotel. Watch my ass, I'm heading in. Okay, we got an Electro Anomaly over there. I'm not sure if it will actually give us anything. Why don't we head to the rooftop to start with, eh? Not sure how much of this building is going to be populated, if at all. And look at that, I think we're at the top. Nyet. Alright, let's cruise down. Another fireplace, holy crap. They just front-loaded this stuff everywhere. Hello. Are you a zombie? You look like a zombie. Nope, you are a monolita. What are you doing up here? Hey? Did I kill you? I don't remember killing you. Maybe I did. Okay, well you got nothing on you.
Alright, so we just got another way through the building this way. I think we'll just continue along the ground floor here for a little bit. Just picking over the scraps as we like to do. Oh, first aid kit. Yes, please. I think I heard something there. And again, maybe not. There's another one. There, look at this. It's just nuts. How many are there? Another campfire. Okay, there must have been some sort of conflict here. Look at this. Let's head upstairs, see if there's bodies or anything. Maybe mutants got these guys, I don't know. Yeah. Looking nice and empty. I think we could just jump out here and have a bit of a look around, I suppose. There we could. There we go, if it lets me. Ooh. That looks like a room which we can't get to. Never mind. Eh. Eh. And it's barred off. Okay. Let's see what we can see down this way. It's a long way down. Yeah. And that's a way in. So we could actually just run along this all the way in. Still not seeing any bodies down there. Live or otherwise. Let's go and check it out. You know what, these are all just going to be empty rooms. If it looks interesting, we'll see if we can get in. I don't think you can open any of these doors. Pretty sure. They don't look like they've got locks on them either. here. Yeah, we've got no one patrolling down here. Nada. There will be guys in there though. Guaranteed. Alright. I think we're just going to go downstairs. Try and stick to some cover if we can. It's not really the best cover here, so what I should probably do is jump down. Get over this wall. Hop. Hop. The answer is probably yet. How about now? Hey, there we go. Alright, so not seeing a huge amount. Doesn't mean much.
We're just going to infiltrate the building. Nice and gently like there's a fire. Let's go and save at the fire. Imagine if making those noises alerted attention. That would be interesting. Is oh, there's another one. God damn, they're everywhere. I think we're actually going to go upstairs to start with. At least we kind of get like a vantage point. Yeah, none. Thought we would have come across at least one guard by now. There's normally a guard down at the entrance guarding the that hole in the wall. It's not looking that way. That's another one. Another save point. My god. And another one. Oh, sneezles. Got no one down there either. Where is everybody? Did this place get cleared out? Let me have a quick look. Let's have a look. Just a quick look. There's definitely no friendlies in here. The main room will have monolith for sure. That's a pile of bones. It's kind of creepy. I don't like it. Okay, now it's raining outside. Wonderful. There'll probably be in a mission or a size storm or something soon. Yeah, not seeing anything down there at all, really. Sweetness. Okay, this is the fanatic room, and I can already see we got to do down here. Oh, Anti personnel might not be good right about now. Okay, what do we got in here? All right, so there's just the one guy that I can see down here. Now, if we kick the hornet's nest from this direction, it means I'm going to have to watch my ass down this direction. Tell you what, let's just save real quick. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Now we're going to have some fun. Look at him go. Got one. Where are these clowns? Are they going to try and sneak up behind us? Okay, 
I could see a dude just down there. But I can also swear I hear someone just running around. Okay, we definitely got a dude down here. Okay, didn't like that. Where the bloody hell? He just rushed in. Okay, that was the hornet's nest. Ugh. him down. Let's head in. Okay, that's a dude over there. Another dude over there. him down. He took some convincing. Let's just back it up a little bit. Doesn't look like they're going to leave this room. Okay, we gotta go right there. He's running. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hello. He's outside. Okay. Ugh. Right on point. Let's just real quick. Well thrown grenade, sir. this guy go? Where did this guy go? He was just here. You know what, we're just gonna save real quick. If we can. Where are you, my dude? 
There he is. My God. This guy is just eating bullets. Crap. Is this actually Eidolon? And are we actually doing any damage? Could actually be idle on. Which may mean that I'm not doing any damage at all. Uh, let's not do the PDA thing, shall we? You know what, let's just change this out to... Okay, well... That's death. Took some hell of a convincing. Just have a wow, 82%. That is nuts. That definitely needs some love. Okay, I think we got them. I think we got them all. Let's do some quick looting. Guarantee that we probably didn't get everyone. There's probably some dudes running around the outside. Let's pop a light on for you guys. Take all the bits. I'll take that. Oh. Please don't tell me this is the same guy. Is this guy respawning? Is this the same guy? It can't be. It can't be the same guy. What has just happened here? Because it sure as hell looks like the same tanky guy. Wow. Some bookshit. Huh. 
How? How is this guy still on his feet? Okay, we are running out of rounds. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> For real? Is this guy the same guy? Like, who the hell is this guy? This cannot be Eidolon, right? There's a body there. Alright, we kind of need to eat something. Who the hell are these guys? Who are you, my dude? Is this guy just like a never-ending spawn? I don't know, maybe it is. Dead. Okay, he's dead now. Um, so, so what happens next? Do these guys just spawn in infinitely? What what happens here? That's kind of put a wrinkle on things. Yep, look at this guy. Okay, so he was just there? Because he went down quick. Are we almost out of ammo? Holy shit. They just burned through virtually our entire reserve of ammo. That one fight. We, uh... Yeah, wow. Okay, alright, let's switch out and let's switch to... Let's switch to the slugs. It's gonna have to be the way it goes, I think. Yep, we still got a guy here. Poke your face out. Is he just gonna hang in the wings there? I think he is. Got him. Prick. So why the hell was... Wow, they're hitting us through the frickin'... Alright. Let's just get some... Jesus Christ. Let's get some repairs on this thing. Yeah, why not? Ok, 
Okay, I think our weapons are going to need some major repairs. Let's repair the shoddy real quick, because that's going to need to be our workhorse for a bit. Shoot, we might as well actually get some food and water while we're here. This guy's just going to town on us. Okay, that's him down. Far out there are a lot of them. I knew there were a lot, I didn't realize there were that many. Holy crap. We need ammo from these guys bad. This is actually not a good situation to be in. Okay, we got some water, which is nice. Alright, what I might do is just... Uh, where are we? Where is the thing that gives me the things? There you are. <clears throat> We're going to do this real quick. Just want to get some of this health back without actually spending too much of my other resources. Okay, this guy had a Saiga. This is good. Let's just disassemble this. <coughs> Scoozy. And we will disassemble this for sure. Let's grab this gear. Wow, wow, wow. So many things. Okay, and we're a little bit hungry too. That was kind of to be expected. <clears throat> Excuse. Let's go and check this guy out. Wait for the animation to play out so that we don't bug ourselves. Alright, so I'm feeling a bit more confident that whatever this guy was, that was Eidolon. No wonder it took so long to kill him. Makes more sense. Question is, why didn't he die the first few times? Let's grab the um, Fallout Emerald. Because that is a unique stat. Oh. We did not grab that from you. We definitely want that. So I think these guys must have been his personal guard. But man, they took some convincing. Like, really took some convincing. Asshole. Alright, one thing we definitely don't want is Eidolon respawning. I'm not sure if that's even possible. Oh yeah, look at that. We got some shot. Grab the plastic film. Alright, cool. actually really nice. Very nice. Whoa! Damn. My dude. Jesus, man. Just die. Did we get him? Sure, if we actually got him.
I think we did. I think that's his body down there. Gonna grab all this gear. We'll try and lean on grenades and stuff if we can. May actually be a good idea for me to grab one of these just in case we need to swap weapons. And this makes me a little bit nervous because there'll be usually people downstairs. We'll take all this stuff. Another basket scope, that's always nice. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to save. If we can. Alright. Alright, so we got Eidolon and all of his buddies. We are critically low on ammo. Like, critically, critically low. We've got basically nine rounds left. I think we'll have a better look at that a bit later on. Um, it would be a shame to leave right now. Do we actually have anything that can repair this? Like, straight up? I don't think we do. 87%. Yeah, this is... It's too low. Alright, I think we're going to have to give it a... Special kit treatment. Thing is... I don't really want to go any further with the... Amount of shot that we have. We don't have much. This battle with Eidolon really... Sapped our reserves. Let's continue for a little... Whoa. I saw you. There's a downstairs section where... There's a vendor and stuff. Trader. That'll be this guy. Pretty sure. So we still got that body down there to loot. Where did you go, my friend? I don't want to go out there, just in case there's someone standing in the doorway. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Well, we've already saved. We might as well go. Let's go. There was a guy that we took out in one of the windows here. Okay, he's going downstairs. Pretty sure. Yep, this coward's gone downstairs. Now we took out a, I was gonna say we took out a guy down here. Where'd he go? Let's grab all this gear. Just gonna head out into this hallway real quick. Paranoid because this area. Holy crap, this area. You know what I'm talking about. 
You know it. I know it. You know it. Alright, let's just... It says the door's locked. We'll come back for it. That was him. That was him. Where'd he go? Where did he go? He's down here. He went running. Where the hell did he go? Like... Straight up, this guy just vamoosed out of here. Is nope. No, ain't taking any part in that. Oh. Oh. No. This area is open. This guy may come back. Okay, these are locked, so we can shoot these off. This guy's dead. For real? We didn't actually kill him. Did we? Maybe we did. I don't know. That's locked, but we don't care. Thing is, there's a dude running around. I thought it was him. I thought it was actually the traitor, but... I guess it, guess it wasn't. I don't know. It's weird. I don't want to pull out the pistol to shoot these things, because I know that these guys are running around. I don't know. I think we're probably just going to go at this point. Because we've got all of the loots and bits that we need. Killed Eidolon. Hell of a battle. He did not want to go down. He chewed through all of our reserves. We did loot you, didn't we, buddy? That's a 95. Yeah, that's going to need some... Pretty hefty repairs. I think this is kind of a good point to bug out. We need to go back. We need supplies. Thank you. Need a lot of supplies. Hot oh, damn. Cannot believe we burned through all of the scar ammo. That's nuts. Nothing up on the balcony there. We're just gonna make a sprint for it, I think. We've saved. So we're kind of good. I don't think we need to worry too much about too many other people. I think we can just go. So let's go! Try not to do anything too derpy. Eh. Well, that was... I wasn't actually sure that Eidolon would be there. But I probably should have been, I guess. I mean, he's part of the story mode, but... But, 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 I thought that's as far as it would go, and I was wrong. Hot damn. Idle on for birthday. So because we chewed through all of our resources, we're going to go back, we're going to take our gear. Do a round of selling, re-kit, all that stuff. But I'm going to consider that central area largely explored. Can I get under? Oh. I feel a little bit safer being under here. 
Alright, so there's a ton of stuff for us to take back. Probably... This we could probably stay. This could probably stay. Now, what do we got in the way of repair kits? Look at this, we do. We actually have one. Let's have a look. So, if I want to repair this baby, I need to... Where are you? There you are. No. Where are you? There you are. Boom. Only 6%. For reals. Okay. But this will bring our scar back up again. We're going to have to save the ammo for the scar now. We don't really have much. Light armor repair kit will be useless to us. Eh. Okay. Alright, so the stuff we want to bring back with us. Let's get back on that again. Just going to do a selling run, I think. Grab all the bits. Grab the upgrade kits, because they're sellable. We have up to 160, so we can grab a fair amount of stuff. So the stuff that will still be useful going forward, we might as well just leave here. Things like, you know, grenades and um, other usables. But the rest of it, it can all come back with us. Anything which we can use for crafting... Etc. Huh. Okay. Yep. We can do that too. Uh, we did burn a couple of those. I think these will keep here. We'll bring this stuff back with us. Okay, so we're slightly over now. That's fine. I would like to bring the um, mutant stuff as well, but we're a little bit over on space. Uh, what can we leave here? Let's leave a couple of the grenades. Let's leave this one. And this one. You know what, we'll leave one of those. We'll take one of these. Okay, so that will leave us just under the weight limit. Boyfect. Damn, I would like to take this. And I can. Noise. Smart. What is the time? I feel like it's... Is it dark because it's rainy? Yeah, it's only like early afternoon. Alright, let's save. One more time and let's go. I probably could actually take the whole lot. If I popped one of these epis, but... There just isn't much point, because a lot of this stuff will be useful... Oh, I'll take that. A lot of this stuff will be useful for us here. Not necessarily to bring back. Okay, that one was actually super light. Ah, there you are. There you are. Yeah, so they're like super light. Super light. And kind of heavy-ish. Cool. Let's go. I hope that we don't run into any wear on the way there. On the way to the laundromat. So we can sell off some of this stuff to the technician. We could actually make a detour to um, the Merc base as well. And drop off our sellables there. Hopefully we don't get ambushed by anything. And they may even give us a little boost in supplies. Je Jesus, we need something. We need anything. We need just something. Just something. We are so low on bullets at the moment. It's nuts. Actually, what I might do is swap out that scar as well. Probably not a bad idea. That way, at least, we can have a full clip of something. Even if it does potentially jam. OK, 
Okay, I don't think we need that on full. I don't think we need that on auto. That'll have to do. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and make our way down to the Merc camp. Just down here. It's not far. I say it's not far. But god damn, there's a lot that can happen between here and there. Gonna do our best just to sprint by. That is... what is that? What are you? Could be monolith? Either way, it looks like a bad time. We're just going to leave it be. For now. I would just like to get to this encampment without too many dramas. Super sweet, so here we are. Boom. I was gonna say, is there a safe point out here? I don't think there is. It's fine. We'll head in. Upsy doodle. Do we wanna go up? No, we wanna go in. There we go. Alright, before we commit to anything silly, let's just run a save, if we can. Very nice. Alright, my friend. Let's trade. See what you can give me for all of this stuff. So, a handgun repair kit we don't need. The light armor we don't need. And the gunsmithing tools can also go. Now we can actually get rid of these as well. We don't need that. We don't need that. Fine tuning. Uh, I don't think we need this. Just thinking for our. All right, let's sell these. Okay, so yeah, we need the mobile counterweight system. So that means we don't need this. Goodbye. Let's get rid of some of this other gaff that we don't need. Okay, we don't need any of those. Very nice. Very sassy. Okay, so apparently we have an encrypted PDA too. Okay. Wow! 500 rubles and he just took a thousand. He doubled it. Cheeky prick. Should kill you for that. <laughs> Question is, which one was encrypted? Must have been one of these ones, right? Oh, maybe there was two. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. The penny drops, Blondie. Ah, yes. Let me see what you did there. Okay, we got stash coordinates. Brilliant. Let's unpack the batteries. The reason I unpack the batteries now is so that, because we've got quite a few to get through, I can tell which ones have been viewed. It's just easier that way. Stash coordinates, very cool. And these will just sit in our stash for components. Not like we need a huge amount anymore. But the batteries are always nice. 
Okay, not much at all. One percent power. They're all one percent power. Very nice. Okay. Cool. So that's everything. Alright, we've sold as much as we can to this guy. I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't actually... Uh, he's got stuff, but I don't know if he's going to give us a decent price for anything. Look at these artifacts, man. He does have ammo, though. Wow, how much? Yeah, hell yeah. Um, what else can we get from this guy? Alright, he doesn't sell any of the other rounds that we need. How much are you selling the Hercules for? Oh, it's kind of pricey, my dude, not gonna lie. I don't know if I like the idea of selling this stuff to him, because I think he's going to give it to us a little too cheaply, but... don't have a hell of a lot of choice. I think we'll keep some of this stuff, because it will be useful if our weapons get too bad. Alright, you can take the food, you can take all of the ammo. All of that stuff, you can take this. I don't need this. Yeah, no, I don't need this. Um... I think that's about as much as I want to give you. I don't think I can actually read that, even though it came from Eidolon. Give it a try, though. You can take all those, though, my dude. You can have them all. Okay. Let's have a squiz. And we are hungry, so let's have a bite to eat as well. Alright, let's have a look. Just going to consolidate some of our gear here, because we do have a few things floating around which need to be... Yeah, I see they'll give us a little bit of space back. It all adds up. That's like it's right above us. Freaking hell, man. Uh, what else we got down here? I think that's about everything. Actually, what do we like for water? Yeah, we could definitely use a top up. Are you going to be my thumbnail? You could be. How about you? You look guilty of something. Mmm. You need some caffeine, man. Let's get out of here. Ah, we had a quest to turn in for this guy. That's right, he was the one that wanted the monolith patches. Well, let's do it then. Give me that money. That's it? For real? Like it... Barely even, not even 6,000? Man... You people, you take the piss. Mm. Alright, let's replenish. Hopefully not run into anything too nasty. Actually, let's... 
let's just change ammo real quick. So apparently there's an underground section here, which is why I could hear a comet over in this direction. We may come back and explore that on the way through. That's an energy drink. Take that. That looks like a burner. Sure, I'm glad I slowed down there. Have a drink when we get back to the laundromat. I just want to get back to safety. Who the hell? You see that guy? That was a guy right there. Oh, they're friendlies. Okay. Whew. Let us continue. All right, we're almost there. Kaboom. Let's not run into the electro anomaly right at the entrance. That would suck. Interesting. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Alright. So we don't need anything from this guy. I'm pretty sure we can't sell him anything else. Yeah. Nothing that we want to anyway. Let's go and drop this stuff off in the stash. Scar's gonna have to go back, I'm afraid. Uh, we don't have enough ammo. Or do we? I suppose we have some. I think we have more of the th um, 556, so we're probably gonna have to stick with that for now. Just let these supplies build up a little bit. We can potentially bring these into Chernobyl, but we may have to bring other weapons with us too, because we're not going to have enough. I'm pretty confident. Pretty confident about that. So, what is the deal with the Volet Emeralds? Grants the wearer a notable level protection against most of the zone's environmental hazards. It's also one of the few active artifacts that can be safely handled without lead containers. However, when you hold it, your flesh feels dry and flaky, your bones hard and stiff. The ligaments in your joints squeaky and brittle. Thick armor or great supernatural vitality would be needed by anyone intending to wear this artifact into battle. Yeah, so it basically lowers your combat-based protection. So rupture, which is mutants. Um, ballistic, which is bullets, obviously. Explosive and impact. But it raises everything else. And it does it by a fair amount. Look at the electrical resistance, that's huge. So in other words, running through, running around anomalies, this would be really helpful. And it's not even a kilo, not even a kilo. So this could actually sit quite comfortably in our um, inventory. Very cool, okay. I'm just gonna drop off the bits that we don't need to bring back with us straight away. Uh, you know what? The sellable stuff might as well come back with us, actually. What was that? Stash found. Really? <laughs> Interesting. I didn't have that before, and I just found a stash. Okay, so what else is in here? 
that. We would never have carried that with us. There's a few things in here. Alright, let's just prepare. That can stay. I'll leave Eidolon's journal in here. These can come back because we'll sell them. Now, what are we looking like for... Okay, I'm actually going to just give us a little bit more. There we go. Uh, do we want to bring these back back? Okay, they can all stay. Might as well bring the, bring the basket back with us. This stuff can come back because we can break it all down. Leave the field armor repair kit here. Alright, sellables. Let's get serious. Sellables. Let's take this. Let's take that sellable. We need this. Uh, we'll take these. They can go back in the stash. Same with these. All of this stuff, all sellable. That definitely comes back. Sellable. We'll sell that too. And there's no reason for the files to be here either, so we'll take them. Okay, I think that's as much as we want to bring back with us. Let's just sort ourselves out for weapons. Alright, so this one... You know what? I'm feeling generous. Here. Didn't even touch the ground. He'll use it at some point. He'll pull it out. He'll be happy. Okay, what do we like here? Cool. For ammo. Okay, I think we're fine. Let's just make sure that we have enough. Uh, so we got lots of old ammo. I think we'll stick with the old ammo for now if we can get away with it. Let's grab all of that. Let's grab. Yep, I think that's fine. And we'll grab all of that as well. Probably need just a bit more. That'll do. That'll do. I think. Not expecting people to tank as many bullets as Eidolon did, so. Cool. Alright, let's fast travel out of here. Let's go to. Go to the Jupiter. I'm hoping it was the Jupiter. Did I need to click on Yanov Station? I don't know. I just saw the Jupiter and went Jupiter. Did I derp? Probably. Stalker. Oh, red. I did not. Take that. Definitely. See if this guy's got a grooming kit. Okay, what was that? Good job, brothers, and thanks to all the volunteers. Okay, so they defended the barrier. Nice work, brothers. Alright, another grooming kit. Brilliant. Should be pretty close to reaching our grooming kit quota. Pretty sure. Pretty sure, pretty sure. Let's drop in all of this stuff, because it's necessary. Um, this and this and these. Put in the scrap as well. Uh, 
All right, in terms of other stuff, I think we're good. Cool. Just going to drop the mutant parts and this into the regular stash for now. They can all stay. That's sellable. These are all sellable. That's sellable. They can stay. That will sell. That was a weird noise. What was that noise? Uh, what else have we got here that can go? I think that's about it. Yeah, I think everything else can... Actually, what have we got in the way of ammo here? Yeah, we got some stuff. We could potentially bring all of this ammo with us. <clears throat> just so that we have a stash ready to go. It's probably not a bad idea. And I do need this. That's for upgrading this guy. So we can increase the magnification. I think that's actually not a bad idea, hey. Do you know what? We might as well do that now. Uh, that's going to be bits we don't need. Let's just go and upgrade the binoculars real quick. While we're here. Uh, no? That's really not what I... Thank you. Uh, we need number four. And immediately he goes out for a schmock. Okay. Oh, what do we need? We need the headgear repair kit. Do we have a headgear repair kit? I think I sold all of those. That's uh, medium armor. Yeah, we don't. Whatever. Okay. Next time. Maybe next time. Let's grab all of this ammo. And <clears throat> let's grab all of the shotgun ammo too, if we can. Gonna grab this as well. Just, we'll bring it with, to, the, um, to the base with us. We'll bring it to outskirts. We'll bring that too, because we might as well bring the sniper rifle. Okay. Let's go and sell off this other gear. And we'll just be done with it all. Can take all of this, my dude. You can take these. And these. Take them all. <clears throat> what else have we got for you? I think that's probably about it. Yep. I'm happy with that. Sweet. Alright, so I'm thinking that I do want to travel up to the Skodovsk. Привет, uh, where can you take me? So he can take me to Zaton. We are traveling around a little bit, but I just want to grab as much gear from these other stashes. And anything that we need, might as well transfer that. That way we don't have to go backwards and forwards all the time. We've just got one stash point, in and out, that's it. To be fair, there isn't a huge amount left to explore of um, Pripyat Central, but we're just going to roll with it. Load me in, baby. Good drama. We got way away. Okay. Okay, so we have a bunch of other stuff here. It's not as much here as I thought there would be. I was hoping there would be more. Grab the Hercules, definitely. Okay. Disappointment. 
going to grab this water too. Alright, let's go places. Let's head back to Jupiter. Actually, we can go straight to the outskirts. Brilliant. Where's this going to teleport us? Not actually sure where this is going to transport us. Hopefully somewhere good. Oh, right into the jaws of the lion. I don't think I like you. Not exactly where this is. This is our good friendly Lab X8. So now we need to make our way back to the laundromat again. Oh, damn it. Let's, um... Let's do what we can to try and get back. Just gonna stick to the streets for the most part. Try and avoid the big cracks in the road because sometimes they have burners in them. They are not friendly. Oh wow, that's a poltergeist. They found the poltergeist. I think they found the poltergeist. Hey, 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 hey. Got him. Does that mean they killed the other Merc? No? I'm not really sure what that means. Let's just get this real quick. Nope, did not kill the other Merc. Where you at? Is he gonna try and sneak up on us? He is! Got him. And he's got a scar. And not very many rounds. Let's just disassemble that. We don't need that coming back to haunt us. And we are... Very tired, apparently. It's fine, we're getting there. Alright, let's go. You know what, before we go... Let us... Oh. Okay, so we can head basically kind of across. Pushing our luck a little bit here, hoping we won't get shot at. Think we'll be okay. Almost there. Oh, 
Okay, just need to be careful. Alright, what do we got here? Yep, it is. Just trying to get my bearings. We are in the right place. Okay. Whew. Let's drop this gear off. That can all stay. Just finish clearing all the loot out and we get more. Holy crap. Yeah, I think we can safely leave all of those in the stash. Alright, so we don't need... We don't need all of those. Don't need all of those. looking a bit better. It's looking a lot better actually. There we go. I <laughs> think we need quite so many of these. Just pop them all back. I don't know, maybe a hundred? Yeah, that should be enough. Same with these. Uh, we'll pop this back to about, yeah, 200 should be about right. That should be fine. All right. Cool. I think this will do us for now. That should be plenty. We've already built up quite a stash here. Wow. Ridiculous. Alright, so we've got all of the bits ready for another foray in. It's now like 5 o'clock in the afternoon, so we're pretty much ready to rest up. I think this is where we'll call the episode. Let's do the socials. I'm on Twitter, I have a Discord channel, and I have a second channel called Hey Blondie, which does long-form video game analysis. If any of that is your jam, do go check it out. Links are in the description. Let's check out our standing. We're already number one, or at least we should be. Oh, not the guide. And we are still number one, and we are head and shoulders number one for taking on a whole bunch of Monolita. Reputation is excellent. So we are the number one stalker in the zone. We are ranked a legend. We are approaching 500,000, so half a million rubles. So that part of the challenge is... It'll come up pretty quickly, don't you worry. But we still have... Oops... We still have a bunch of places to visit. So we still have a little bit more of the outskirts to go. Then, oh yeah, that pops straight into Jupiter. That could actually be handy. That'd be round about there, I think. So we still have the deserted hospital to go, which is just here. We have... The Chernobyl nuclear power plant area itself, the external. There's actually a north and south area. Uh, there is another area up here, which I'm pretty sure of. There we go, generators. So, CNMP north, south, generators. There are underground sections. Um, pretty sure there's like a war lab or something here. There's underground sections here. So, into sarcophagus. Uh, that's into the monolith control center, so there's all sorts of stuff. So we still have a fair bit to explore. Not 
we're, we're coming into the end game, obviously, but there is still plenty of action to be had, friends. So, until next time, good hunting, stalker. <laughs>